Hi, this is Mr. Max. I am doing some questions on trigonometry, especially um, some 3D problems uh, for the first video. And uh, when we are working with uh, trigonometry, make sure that your calculator is on degree mode. So you will see on the display there, it's either degree of a D or DEG, depending on the calculator you have. Um, and then you can definitely solve these questions. If it's a different one there, it's going to mean that you are not going to get answers in degrees. So I have got a 3D shape here. It's a pyramid and the base is a rectangular base, uh, ABCD, as you can see. And vertex V all the way up to the apex there. And it is above, vertically above B and uh, given... Uh, information is that DC is equal to 12, which means AB is also equal to 12 because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length. AD is equal to 5, therefore BC is also equal to 5, and VB is equal to 3 meters respectively. So you will see that um, if you are following and you have the Y equals MX plus C to success books for grade 11 and, and 10 and 11, then you can follow on page 458. There are two questions that I try now. Right, so what does this basically mean? We are supposed to find angle V, C, B. Now, it's like this one on the side. It's kind of difficult for you to see that. All right, so I thought maybe it's interesting if one can perhaps just show how that, how that triangle would look. Uh, of course, not with the same measurements. Um, so it is triangle V, as you can see, the X and the Y coordinates are flat, okay? And uh, the Z coordinate, in order to bring that 3D, is the one where it goes up and down. So this is the shape that we are looking for. Uh, and I've indicated to you there that you can see that angle there is 90 degrees, all right? And we need to be able to um, calculate. So it's very difficult to see on a, on a two-dimensional shape to see uh, or to be able to draw um, this type of scenario. But I try to do my best here by drawing it. And uh, what I do is I'll extract some triangles from there. So the triangle that I was talking about, the one on the side, uh, if you have to look at the one on the side here, so I took it out and it is here. So angle VCB, so I indicated that angle with theta. And uh, we are going to use the tangent ratio. So I'll just say tan theta, and the tangent is the opposite. In this particular case, the opposite is 3 over the adjacent, which is 5. So we're going to calculate that angle. And uh, once you calculate the angles, then this is the inverse tangent. So you have to use the inverse button on your calculator. So you go and say uh, shift inverse tangent of 3 over 5, well, that gives you the angle, which is 30.96, 30.96 um, degrees. Now, we are always expecting you to give the angles to one decimal place unless you are instructed otherwise in the question. Okay, so the angle that I was looking at is this particular angle over here. That is the angle. And this is also 90 degrees because this is a vertical. This is a uh, the base is um, flat. So that VB is vertically above B. Right. So let's look at the second part of the question. So now you have to um, find angle VBD. So angle VBD, they say calculate angle VDB. So that is this angle here. Now, in order for us to find that angle, we can see another triangle. So I will just highlight that triangle so you can see it. The triangle is this triangle over here. And this is also a right angle triangle. So think of it as, um, I don't know, the, uh, as something that you can actually take out from there. So that is the triangle over there. So this triangle is also 90 degrees. That implies that uh, from here to there is 90 degrees. 
So that is the triangle we are very much concerned with. Now I have drawn that triangle here. That is a triangle B, B, D, as you can see. But I've indicated with a red, so I drew that diagonal there because I can't calculate this angle. Remember to calculate an angle, you need to have two sides, as you have seen from my previous answer. So the, the distance B, D should be calculated, and I've indicated also here in red, so you can follow. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate that distance there. So you'll be saying um, B, D squared is the hypotenuse they're looking for, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. And uh, you can actually go ahead and calculate this one. So this is 25 plus 144. So that gives you 169. So BD, BD square. So therefore BD will equal to the square root of that, which makes that to be 13. So now that is 13, I can actually now calculate that angle. So that is my next triangle. So again, I showed with the red that BD we calculated and it's 13 meters. So now I can calculate the angle VDB, which I indicated by using theta there. So that angle is also the tangent that we are going to use. So tan theta is equal to whatever is opposite theta, in this case, 3 upon 13, All right? And then in order for you to find that angle, you're gonna take the inverse again of 3 over 13, all right? And uh, let's grab our calculators again, just to make sure that we can calculate that. So it's the inverse of 3 upon 13, since I was doing that before, it's 12.994 and so on. So uh, it is 12.994 and so on degrees. Um, but the angle we're looking for is angle V, D, B. So I'm going to say angle V, D, B is equal to 13.0. That is correct to one decimal place. Okay, so it does help whenever you remove and draw drawings like that. Now let's go to the second question. Now it's a slightly similar question. It says the diagram shows a pyramid and the pyramid is indicated by V, A, B, C, D. As you can see, the vertex V is vertical above corner A of the horizontal rectangle A, B, C, D. Right. So they say we are supposed to calculate the angle of elevation of V from B. The moment they give you questions like this, you always go to after the word from. So we have to go to B. So the angle of elevation of V from B. So it's very difficult, but it is this little particular angle that you see over here. But I have taken out that side um, of that triangle and I've indicated here. So the measurements you can see I've included AB is 9 and uh, AV is 8. So we are now looking for that particular angle. Also very important, you are supposed to give your answer to the nearest degree. So please do not forget that. All right. So again, similarly, we are using tangent. So tan theta is equal to whatever is opposite over whatever is adjacent. All right. So that means that we will calculate this angle by saying the inverse tangent, because when you calculate the, in the angle, uh, this is what you do. So let's grab our calculator again. Since it was still on tangent, uh, this was a uh, nine, and I'll go back, and that was eight. All right. So it's 41.633. So it's 41.633, and so on degrees. But remember, we are looking for uh, angle V, B, the, the angle of elevation of V from B, and that angle is nothing but. I'll just keep it as theta, is nothing but 42 degrees. And this is obviously to the nearest degree. Okay, nearest degree should be whole number answer. Right. So, uh, very important that you understand what I did next. They say we are supposed to show that VC is equal to 17. Now, again, meters. Again, uh, you can see that there is a triangle that is over here there is a triangle that is over there so this question is similar to question one so this triangle is also a right angle triangle this one that i'm indicating uh, and uh, 
So this triangle, this is going to be 90 as well. So that triangle, um, we are now supposed to, to prove what VC is. So since it's a right angle triangle, we need to be able to calculate the distance first, the one that I indicated in red. And once we know the one in red, then we can use that triangle VAC, as I've indicated, in order for us to calculate that a particular uh, distance or to show what that distance is. So first we're going to do the one in red, which is the one, think of it as the one that is at the bottom here, okay, triangle ABC. So again, I'm looking for AC, and AC square is equal to uh, 9 square plus 12 square. Of course, uh, AC square is equal to 81 plus 144. And then AC square is equal to, well, that's 225. Right, so that gives me that AC will be the square root of 225. And that implies that AC is equal to 15 meters. Right, so now that we know that this distance here is 15 meters, right? Now I have a complete right angle triangle. So I'm going to take that triangle again. So again, we said this is 15. So now we can count or calculate VC by using Pythagoras' theorem again, because Pythagoras' theorem is what we will use in order to show that this is 17 meters as uh, the information that was given. So we find VC there. Right, so let us see. Uh, using Pythagoras again, so we have got VC squared is equal to 64 plus 225, and VC will equal to, well, of course, that is 289, 289, 289, and VC then is the square root of 289, which you can use your calculator to, de to just establish that it is indeed 17 meters. And this is what we were required to prove. Okay, so that brings it to the end of this very quick uh, lesson on simple 3D shapes. Stand by for a next video.